no. I want the air to wave through my hair. I'm so tired. Thanks, mate. Today I am spraying on ultraviolet by Papo Paco Raban. I smell delicious on an adventure. Kiss, please. Kiss, please. Port of Call is taking the boy to school. And then I am going to Cumbran. Um, why am I going to Cumbran? Well, they have a cinema. And I'm going to watch Rambo 5. Rambo 5, Rambo 4? Rambo 5. Rambo. Last Blood. Um, I'm a massive action fan, so i'm excited <laughs> so there's a bunch of new things that um i'm kind of doing today one is i'm uh using a different camera i don't know if you can tell i don't know if the footage is a little bit better um i'm using my phone i got a samsung s8 it's so much more compact um the quality is really good and um I just I feel more comfortable vlogging with it whereas if I was vlogging with a camera you know I'm holding this big black camera in my face and I don't know I just feel a bit uncomfortable um, with this though I had to turn the power on um, like super power mode so we don't run out of power um, I'm hopefully gonna pick up a new power bank today because I'm gonna sell my other camera and then I'll, I'll be able to have a bit of better quality um, another thing is Cumbran um, I used to work in a cinema um, for a big chunk of my life, um, seven years, and um, I always used to go to that cinema because I didn't ever pay for cinema. But View Cinemas in Cumbran ah, oh, amazing! Five pound a ticket, and you get these amazing, huge, lazy boy style seats. You get your own know, little like table. It's amazing. When I'm there, I'll show you. Um, but the only thing is, I got to go all the way to Cumbran. But the good thing about that is that I used to live in Cumbran. So I'm gonna have a, if I've got time, I'm gonna have a little wander around and I'm gonna show you what I used to work in Cumbran. So it's kind of like the second part of down memory lane. I can't see anything on my camera. But look how awesome, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day, Logan. Say beautiful day. Day to day day. Huh. Okie dokie. What a glorious, beautiful day. Uh, That's why I love getting up in the morning. I just, I, I also, I also I enjoy my sleep. You. Shut up. You beat me. I didn't know we were having a race. I don't know what it is. It's like, so nice and quiet and it's just lovely. There's no one running around. I don't know what it is. It's just really nice. The birds are singing. The sunshine is a little bit nippy, but you know, that's what I'm for. I haven't got my hat on. Uh, it's just a really nice morning. Uh, I wish every morning could be like this, to be honest. 
It'll probably make me get out of bed more. Come on. Come on. Logan, come on. I know you're sitting down. Come on. I don't want to sit down. Come on. You go first. You go first. Oh dear. Hello. Hello. Come on, you go. You go. Oh. They're in war mode. Hey. Am I going out to a geese, a goose, and smoothing it? Because uh, it'll nip my hand off. Come on. There you go. That's my first job. My bus now is 901. That's going to take me into Newport Town. And then 955. I don't know what time that gets. Uh, uh, what does your watch my dad make? They were a bitch. They're not very good, are they? No. I'd be honest with you, they're rubbish. <laughs> I don't know, apparently they're rubbish. But, we'll wait for the bus anyway. Do you know what time the bus normally comes? It should be one. Do you know how long it takes to get into, uh, into town? Um, 40 minutes. 50 minutes? Okay. That's depends, no, the trains. So I got, I got another, another bus to catch you at 9.55. I should be fine. Yes, I can. Thank you. Awesome. We've got a little bit of a disaster. Um, because my bus was so long, late, I've actually missed my bus. So now I am currently going to um, see if I can send my camera in CEX. And then I'm going to have to jump on a different bus, which is going to cost even more money. Oh. Working up there. I used to work in there. Well, I say work, I was on this uh, this CAD center thing. What am I going? I'm going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way, so yeah, so we can sell my camera now and see uh, see if we can get some money for that. They're just doing whatever they need to do now where they test it. So I bought it from a month ago, but uh, you know, I'm vlogging with my phone now and I don't need it. I need my money. Right, let's go see if we can find Amanda. She's in town with her mum having breakfast. Just a uh, a hash brown. So, now I've had my breakfast. Let's go to CEX. Go see how much they're going to offer me for my camera. I'm going to take it anyway, probably 35. I paid 85 forever. And then we're going to get a bus into Cumbran. Have a little wander around and then we're going to go watch Rambo Last Blood. It's going to be awesome. I have to get £44 for that camera. So it's not, a, not the end of the world. Um, I just I don't know how much the bus ticket is to Cumbran. Um, I did buy a bus ticket for Newport bus, but it won't work on a stagecoach. Now, from what I remember, they're quite expensive, so they're probably around five pounds seventy, I think, for a ticket. But we're going to go there now, and um, hopefully everything will work out just fine. Yeah, we're in public. People are looking. I don't give a fuck. I shouldn't swear. On the uh, bus going into Cumbran. Um, yeah, it's only four pounds. I thought it was gonna be more now. Two pounds seventy a single. Um, so yeah, so it's all gonna be good. Um, I can't wait to get my naturals and my drink. I love their naturals from the new cinema. I'm gonna give you a review now. You go by station. It's like split into two. Basically, you've got the uh, the one section was like the new section. It used to be the old um, the old bus station. They basically rebuilt it when they did the Friars Walk. And that's what all the kind of new pool buses go. Then you've got this area, and you've got all the stagecoaches. These kind of go more into like into the deep wheels. This is where I'm going to be getting uh, a lot of my a lot of my tickets to go to random places in uh, in Newport. I totally thought that was a face. It is some guy's head. So yes. Gotta get this whole vlogging thing in public. Like with my last video, I did, um, I filmed on a bus, and I just think it's too much. You can hear me, the noise was too loud. So that's why I've kind of like limited it to traveling on buses. Um, so yeah, so next stop is Cumbran. We're gonna go and probably, some guys like, who's, who's he talking to? So uh, my next one will probably be um, in Cumbran. Um, I 
think I've got at some time, so I might go and get something to eat and just have a little wander around Cumbria and show you the places where I used to uh, work. Because even though we just did the Lam Remy vlog, uh, I moved to Cumbria then after I finished school, and a lot of my life was like in Cumbria. I had like I, I think three places in the town centre I used to work. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna go on that little journey and see what's happening, and then we're gonna go watch Last of Blood. There you go. That was nice. Just bumped into some some of my old friends giggle, have a little laugh. So I'm going to take you to um, a shop I used to work in called Game Station. Um, I was there for the opening of when it first came out and now it's shut down. I think it's a phone shop now. I kind of need to go next. I need a phone bank for my phone. So yeah, so that's the first one. This is Cumbrand Square. The bandstand. I don't know if anyone ever plays music in there. They're bound to do something but so yeah, so we're gonna go around the game station now. I, used to, I was here for four years. Every day of my life. Fun. What's the smell? It smells nice. <laughs> it smells good, delicious. So down there, the phone matters place. That's to be game station. I'm gonna look at the staff. All those times ago. Every night, oh, it's gone. You used to have to fill this window in. You used to stick all the old retro games consoles and stuff in this window. You can kind of see where where they've ripped it apart. But there used to be like a, a like a, a a gate there to stop people from stealing stuff. So I'm going to go in here now and see if I can find a phone bank, um, a, like a charger for my phone, because I've got it on like I kind of got running on like the lowest power, and I kind of want it to be a little bit better. They wanted like twenty five pound for. The, the charger. Um, I'm not willing to pay £25 for a charger. I'm able to pick one up for a tenner from somewhere. So I'm going to be looking for. And I'll go to Asda, I've got time. Um, hopefully they've got a cheaper one. So I'm not paying 25 quid for a power bike. This is Cumbran. It's got a nice little mountain in the background there. Yeah, so I've got time to get to Asda. Um, See what power bank they got. There's a rugby shop. I got no money. I got no money to buy rugby stuff. So beautiful it is. Seventy quid though. We're gonna be taking on the uh, the World Cup this year, guys. I hope. This is so busy. So how's my vlogging with my phone so far? Um, I'm enjoying it so far. So good. Um, it's still a bit weird talking to yourself, but this is kind of bad because then I could be on a video call with somebody. No. Um, I used to fancy a girl who used to work in this Asda. And I used to come in just to see her. She didn't like me. Well, she didn't know my name, so a bit awkward. What's this? Power bank, 18 quid. Oh. It's an in-car charger, 18 pounds. 22, 30, 13. Is this what I want? Wireless charger. You know, a little 22 quid look. So you're looking at around 18 pounds. Um, it's a little bit too much than I want to spend right now because I haven't got no money. So um, maybe I'll save up for one. I'm going to go up to the um, up to the clothes section see if I'm going to find a cheap t-shirt for four pounds, like a black one. So now I'm going up to the clothes section to see if I can find a black t-shirt because uh, normally only like five or four quid. Um, so I might buy two of my buy a white one as well because I love my t-shirts and I don't seem to have any. Don't look the wrong way. <laughs> uh, uh, another thing you'll find about me is how indecisive I actually am. Um, I find stuff, I can't make up my mind and I put it back and I don't end up spending anything. And I moan then that I haven't spent any money. Well I got no money to spend so £5 on two t-shirts wasn't too bad really. But um, yeah, I'll have to find my other ones, I've got some other ones somewhere, some cool black ones, so we just have to find them and uh, wear them. So I'm going to head over to the cinema now and uh, get some nachos. Someone's singing, happy, happy, happy. Um, so yeah, so I'm here at The View. So we're going to go in, um, I'll show you the seat, my seat, and I'm going to get some nachos, I'm not going to not a lot of film in the cinema, I don't want to bring no attention. It's the first show of the day, it's the most 
when more people are more likely to film it. So, yes. Life can be a handful. What can I say? That was awesome. Well, that's my uh, my day out. I saw it. I um, went to go see Rambo. I really enjoyed it. I'm just on the bus waiting to go back home now. And then uh, we're gonna pick Logan up. If I've got time. I know Amanda's gonna pick him up, but I'll try and meet him at the school. I'm trying to be cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the film. Um, it was a lot of heavy story. I kind of wanted more angry Rambo, nasty Rambo. But um, it's good. It was a very good film. I really enjoyed it. It's uh, just got ready for number six now. Things with these songs that I'm doing. Um, they're supposed to be funny, they're supposed to be comical, but I always end up writing these nice, sweet harmonies. Um, I'm just going to sit by you, because they're going to come from down that way. That way. They're going to come from over there. So I'm going to sit on this rock while I wait for them, and I'm going to talk to you to finish off the vlog. <sighs> oh, it's a lovely day. So yeah, so thank you so much for everyone. Um, everyone that comments, you know, I'll try and respond to you straight away. Um, there's a few of you which comment on, on almost every video and um, it's much appreciated and thank you so much for watching them and enjoying the vlogs. Um, yeah, you know, the, the goal was to get 100 subscribers in a year and we've managed to get 50 in two months. So that's really good. Now we need to start finding our flow with the content um because i know the vlog vlogs take the vlog well this vlog took one day to film but then editing you know because i've got to edit another vlog i'm in the middle of doing and there's another vlog that i've got to edit and there's a song uh, another song i've got um there's another song that i've got coming out so um so yeah so what do you think of the songs are they good and you know i went from my usual craziness to something a bit more fun and and a little bit more meaningful and maybe that's the way I'm going to start doing the songs from now on. With the odd random crazy one in there. So yeah, so I think vlogging with the phone is the way to go. You know, it's lasted all this time. I've done quite a lot. Obviously, if I was travelling to France or something, um, I'd have to get my power bank. But it's not done too bad. So, thank you for um, subscribing and just being a part of Spud Boys. Uh, please like this with your friends and share it. Let's get everyone on board so we can make more content. At the minute, I've got no money, so um, I can. I know Ricky works a lot, Ben works a lot. I'm the only one who don't work. <laughs> so that's why I get most of the content put in. But you know, when they do put the content in, it is really good. So, so yeah, so thank you. We are trying to get some more Spud Boys. I know there's two people that might be joining Spud Boys. Just need a meeting with them and have a chat to see if they're interested and what kind of things they can bring to the, the channel. Um, so yeah, so so thank you so much for for being a part of it. And uh, comment in the video if you think my hair looks cool, because I normally wear a hat. But I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna wear a hat. Another thing is, well, do you think I should shave off my beard and look like a 12 year old? Because I'm not sure. Right then, thank you so much. Say it again, Logan. Say it again. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm freaking that, bro. Say it. Say it. Say it. No. Say, it. No. Say it again. No. So, if anyone's uh, afraid of spiders, um, I don't think you should watch this video. Um, I don't know if you remember the other day when I took a picture of that um, that death spider that was eating the caterpillar. Well, I just want to show you how big he has got. Well, this one here, he's a newbie on the block. Look at him. Look at the fangs on him. Can't see his back. 
Oh, yeah, that's definitely a something. I don't know. Why has it got a grey back? I don't want to get too close to him. Just in case he pounces on me. And this is the one that was eating the caterpillar the other day. Not that one. They're just everywhere. Look at them all. This one. Look at him. How big he is. Uh, uh. He's so big. Logan. No, the spiders will eat you. They will. The spiders will eat you. Right, let's piss off the spider. Move him in here, because if it touches me, I'm going to scream. Let's grab him. This'll do. This'll do nicely. Right, we're going to piss the spider off, alright? I'm going to save that one, because he looks dangerous. Um, let's piss off big boy oh he's run away this one looks more fierce look at this cobweb though like this one's actually on a cobweb but this one's cobweb like goes like it goes around so I don't know if this is a false widow oh he's gone <laughs> I don't like Get in, will you? Bloody hell! I thought someone touching me then. I don't know what it was. Go on, get in. Wee. Thank you for watching the vlog. Don't forget to like and to subscribe.